All right, so quick video. I'm not going to take forever on this, but just a little talking about what Casey Hayward brings to the Raiders. Casey Hayward, longtime Charger, has been a very good player for a while, didn't have a great season last year, but has been good in the past, and now the Raiders have signed him. So let's talk about what will happen. So like for this play, for example, this is what we'll start off with. It's man coverage, and you see the route that Hayward is going to try and cover right here. One of the real issues with the Raiders' defense last year is that they just didn't have guys who were playing smart. A lot of their guys just weren't playing smart at all. They were playing kind of stupid, and they didn't know what to do. And Hayward, at the very least, is going to be someone who just knows his role and can just make reads. That's what he's done very well. He's not the fastest corner, but he's smart, and that's how he's able to, you know, get by. And I mean, watch how right when this play starts, it almost seems like he's moving in before the receiver he's covering is. So he just read that play perfectly. And that's what the Raiders kind of need, especially when they play their zone coverage is they're going to need guys who just know where to go and know what moves to make and things like that. And that's something Hayward can do. And also watch how he's going to break in and actually knock that ball away. So really good job by Hayward all across the board right there. And that's what he's bringing to the Raiders. And it's a big thing they need is they need guys like that. You know, I talk about the importance of having secondary players. It's so important in today's game. Well, having Casey Hayward, that uh, that should help them. Now, we can talk about the negatives a bit as well. Uh, like, for example, this play. Last year, I think it's fair to say that he had a down year. I'm not saying that he was, like, awful last year. He was still pretty good. Would have maybe been the best corner on the Raiders, but still not his typical, like, you know, all-pro level self or Pro Bowl level self, uh, because, you know, like, for example, just to use one number, his yards per reception he gave up was 16.9, whereas his career is 13.6. So he gave up some bigger plays, and this play will be a good example of something like that. So it's zone coverage. Uh, there's going to be a deep route in the zone that he's covering. Obviously, he's covering the white zone, the one I, you know, pur pur purposely uh, pointed out right there. And watch what happens. So Hayward even gives Scotty Miller a little bit of space here, but Miller's just going to blow right by him. He has uh, the speed to get completely past Hayward there. And again, how many people have we seen get burned by a fast receiver? Uh, Scotty Miller is a fast receiver. It happens. He did that to a number of people last year. But at the same time, that just kind of goes to show, okay, Hayward, I feel like in the years past, would have realized, you know, he, he would have just had an, enough speed to at least make that a uh, contested play. But in this one, he just wasn't in the play at all because he got burned. And and that's kind of my point is that he's not, he, he maybe has lost a step. I think that's fair to say he is, you know, over 30 now. So sometimes, you know, NFL corners, they don't stay great forever. They do fall off a cliff sometimes. But at the same time, for the Raiders, again, I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but last year they played a good amount of cover two zone. And you could see an Xavier Rhodes type situation where Xavier Rhodes for the Vikings looked washed up. He had clearly lost a step, but then the Colts said, hey, we're going to play cover two zone. So you have safety help. You don't have to worry about getting burned deep. And Rhodes was able to have a lot of success. I wouldn't be shocked at all to see Hayward do something similar, you know, have, go on a similar way. I could absolutely see that happening. Now, Gus Bradley, who was the defensive coordinator for the Chargers, now the defensive quarter coordinator for the Raiders. So, you know, that's also another help, I'm sure. It's just that uh, Hayward just knows the language. He knows how the defense works and everything like that. Uh, Bradley likes to play a lot more cover three, which the Raiders still did. But again, it's easier to play cover three than it is to play like a man coverage thing. So, uh, him going to the Raiders is a much bigger help than it would be if he went to Tampa or if he went to Miami. Like, it's just, it's an easier defense for someone like him to play. So yeah, kind of an interesting move. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.